Hey guys, Mark from Shotkit here. Now I've got a camera backpack for you just down here that I'm gonna show you in a second, which has really impressed me and I felt the need to tell you about it right, right away. I've been using it now for the past two weeks or so, writing an article on the best packable backpacks. So I've kind of given the game away there, but this is the Wandered Via 18 liter packable backpack with inflatable back panel. So I'll show you that in a second, but I have reviewed a ton of backpacks in my time, camera backpacks. I'll leave a link below to an article that I've kind of updated recently to include more of the what I consider be, to be the best camera backpacks of the year. Um, I have handled so many camera backpacks in my time, so I am a little bit sort of hard to impress when it comes to new features because I've seen most of them before or a lot of them before implemented in some way on other backpacks. Now, I'm not trying to say that having a packable backpack is anything new, but I think what Wandered has done here in a few areas, which I'll show you in a minute, is pretty innovative and it kind of stopped me in my tracks when I, I tried this out. And um, I'm happy to say that it is in use now uh, in my kind of gear rotation, my bag rotation of which I have quite a few. Um, but anyway, I'm here to talk about this product, the Wandered Veer. I'm gonna unpack it now. and show you how it looks. So first impressions when I received this was, wow, it actually looks pretty cool. It's not like your traditional collapsible backpacks, which come on, they look pretty horrible. They're usually in gross colors or the branding's emblazoned on them, or there's either too much going on, like loads of little zippers everywhere, or there's just not enough going on. It's just basically a nylon shelf. You just stuff things in. I think Wondered have got it right here, both in the look of the thing and just like, it's kind of, it's minimal without having uh, too little going on. So there's plenty of like features on here that I consider really useful. So just starting on the side, you've got this water bottle uh, holder. So it's actually deep enough to get the legs of a travel tripod in there, something uh, like, I know the Peak Design travel tripod, which I've reviewed um, recently, can fit in here really nicely, but it's intended to be for a water bottle. And you can see by the size of it there, you can you could fit in you know, a decent sized uh, one or two liter water bottle into that, which I think is great. Um, a note on the branding as well. I love the Wandered logo, but especially the fact that they don't go kind of contrasting colors with the branding. It's really stealth. So on a black bag, they use black here. Um, the, the logo on the front here, it's kind of, I know it's gray. It's not, it is contrasting, but it doesn't stand out a lot. My point being, um, well, this doesn't really look like a camera backpack, but on top of that, um, the branding doesn't stand out. And so you won't, uh, hopefully you won't attract the attention of people who want to nick it. All right, so let's move on uh, with the features. So this obviously is a packable backpack. It's, got, it's very light. It compresses down to something the size of a couple of paperback books as, as you've just seen. But my point is it's not going to be used for carrying heavy gear for a long time. Like I can see this bag being used as something that you put in the car, you just leave in a glove compartment or you attach to the front of your another bigger bag. You've got this clip here to do so, or you just keep it inside another bag um, when you're traveling. So. Often when I go on a destination wedding shoot, I will take like a bigger backpack with me overseas. And then when I get there, I'll need something like this, a day pack, which I'll just put one camera in and the lens, you know, some food, maybe spare change of clothes and just go out on a scooter. And uh, I don't want my big backpack. So yeah, that's where this kind of thing is really useful for me. Um, all right, where was I? Features. Oh no, the straps. So the straps, they've got all this kind of mesh material going on here, which I really like being in a hot country. I'm in Australia and it is at the moment, it's over 30 degrees. So I don't want to have a backpack on my back, but when I do have one, it's nice to have something where the straps and the back panel here, you can see have this great um, airflow system going on. And um, these are thin and they do look like they're going to rip, but oh, I've just been in the gym guys. Can you tell? This isn't going to rip anytime soon. It's an 18 litre backpack. You're not going to put loads of stuff in here. So I, um, even if you crammed it to the brim with you know heavy lenses, it's not going to rip anytime soon. Wandered bags, um, they all have a lifetime warranty as well. I'm not sponsored by them. I just think they make good products. They've got a lifetime warranty. And uh, in my experience with Wandered bags, uh, nothing's broken. So 
I assume this to be the same. I've used it for two weeks and it looks pretty much brand new. Um, on the straps, there's this nice um, sternum strap here that you can kind of adjust and move higher up. I use sternum straps in particular when I'm walking with a bag, just so it doesn't like flail around on my back. And also when I'm riding a scooter or a bike, because the back of this will rest on the seat and push upwards and kind of splay open the straps without having a sternum strap there. So that's a, like a nice little touch. You've got these kind of loops that you can uh, attach other things, hang other things off if that's your thing. Okay, so let's move around the bag. We've got a side access pocket here, which is, is kind of coming, uh, becoming commonplace on dedicated camera backpacks, but it's nice to see it on something as minimal as this. Um, it's, I think, evidence that a company like Wandered, which has had a lot of experience making backpacks and bags in general, all that kind of technology and features has trickled its way down into something that's super minimal and might I say affordable as well. We'll go on to the price later. But it's nice to see them using all that kind of features and tech on, on their like lower end products as well. So side access point there, that will go straight into your, uh, the main the main portion of this 18 litre backpack. And uh, on that note, actually, I'm just gonna show you one other thing. This being a camera backpack, as you can see, there's no padding in here at the moment. So there's two forms of padding that come with this. The first, sorry, it doesn't come with it. This is the first one. This is the inflatable camera cube, which you buy separately. Um, I mentioned the price before. This, at the time of recording this video, it's around $99, but I'm gonna link to it below just in case they've changed their pricing. I think that is great value for money, guys. Um, and this is available separately. I'm not gonna put my foot in it by quoting a price because I can't remember it, but I'll link to it below. I highly recommend that you get this as well if you have a camera that you wanna transport or just anything uh, delicate or breakable in general. Because what this is, is a, uh, an inflatable camera cube. So just an inflatable cube that you can put things in that, uh, that are valuable. And what I like about this in particular is this little thing here where you blow into it. Um, and then you twist it off. So you unscrew it to be able to blow into it, then you twist it off to stop the air coming out. Now, if you remember those like cheap, crappy, blow up, you know, beach balls and all that kind of stuff that has the nasty plastic thing where you have to kind of fish in your mouth and like close it off before all the air gets out. Why don't they just implement these? This is a much better solution. Um, I don't know if Wanda invented this, I highly doubt it, but I'm glad that they've included it on this because not only is it more robust than one of those plastic things, like this isn't gonna break anytime soon, it's also way more efficient. So you can blow that up to maximum capacity and then you can tighten it off, stop the air coming out, and that gives you a really well-protected little space to put in a camera. This is big enough, I'd say, for a pro-sized DSLR, a gripped one, uh, with a 2470, even with a hood attached, like it's pretty big. Um, I would be putting in there my mirrorless camera and maybe put, another, put a t-shirt or something in between and then put a lens on top, so. Um, that gives me space, you know, for the camera with a lens attached and another lens on top. And then you can kind of close it off here. There's a nice little hook and loop fastening there. And with these like eyelets on the side, I think their intention is that you can use this as a, you know, sort of a secondary bag. You can put a, you can loop your strap through there and just carry it at your waist. Um, but what I intend to do with it, what most people should be doing with it, is putting that with your camera in it and having that inside there. Um, and you can access that through the side here through the, hmm, where is it? Through the front or the back, should I say, because there's this um, entry point right here, which allows you to get right inside this camera bag. Um, so it's pretty, for 18 liters, it is really spacious. It's really cavernous. Like it's just one big space in here. Um, and if you've got this in here, obviously that's gonna take up the bottom portion, but then you can stuff in, you know, some more bags, your sandwiches, whatever you want to take with you on the day and access it from the rear here or from the side. Now, in terms of security, you've got this nice little clip here that um, obviously it's not going to withstand any knife um, being, you know, soup. it's just like a, it's, it's pretty flimsy, but it's enough to stop someone, you know, rushing past you and yanking this open and trying to steal your backpack's contents or whatever. So that's a nice little inclusion. Um, and in addition, there's no front, there's no way to get into this from the front. So if you're walking along with this, 
There's this, yeah, that's another pocket for some stuff, but I don't recommend that you put anything valuable in there, obviously, because if you're walking around with it and you can't see it, someone's gonna brush up against you and maybe steal something, but they can't get access to the main portion of the camera bag because that's kind of up here, protected by your back. The front of the bag, all right, so, mentioned before there's a zip here you can put some more stuff in the front there uh, about the size for of a paperback book or you can put some you know flashes in there or whatever you want um, I like this styling here so even though this is a packable backpack it does look cool I have to say like if this was a fully fledged camera backpack and it had all the padding and everything I'd definitely buy it I love the look of it it's minimal and I think it looks great so at the front you've got these loops here that you can attach things like carabiners to or any kind of clip accessory and that's just nice uh, like a nice way of expanding the capacity of this thing I don't see myself hanging loads of stuff off here because it's intended to be a lightweight backpack but it's nice to know that it's there and it kind of adds to the overall appearance of it Okay, so now I should mention the uh, main feature of this camera backpack that I haven't seen implemented anywhere else before, especially on a packable camera backpack. So, inside here is something called, I'm just gonna read off this, the inflatable back panel. Okay, so that's exactly what it says it is. I'm gonna just yank it out here just to show you. It's this thing, so kind of like a skeleton, and it's got this, one of those same, what are these things called? blower uppers okay so that's what you do with it i felt like i was in one of those airline safety videos blowing up the life vest anyway that's what you do with it inflate it nice and big and that provides a nice little sort of padding on your back when you're carrying it so you stuff that back in there it's all i uh, kept it in there nice and neatly i should show you there's a little hook and loop fastening there so it's not moving around but that gives you just enough padding on your back so that anything in there isn't kind of banging off your back when you're walking and it just yeah it feels great because that's kind of like a skeleton with the gaps in between it you don't get sweat loads of sweat on your back like you would do if it was just one solid piece so you get the airflow through here through that kind of the gaps in the skeleton and yeah it does keep your back way cooler than pretty much any other backpack I've used come to think of it because none of them have the the sort of the opportunity to be this minimal because they're not packable backpacks. Okay guys, so that was the Wandered 18 litre Via. It's only available in one size, the 18 litre. I'm gonna leave you with a quick video of me unpacking it so you can get an idea of how that looks. Um, but yeah, link in the description. I'm not sponsored by these guys. As I said, it is an affiliate link which helps support what I do. Uh, but yeah, check it out, it's great. Uh, gift I'd say for a photographer friend because everyone I've shown this to just falls in love with it just because like it's pretty original and it's packable and um, it's something that even if you have you know 10 camera bags like I do this thing is it's just something that's a bit different and it kind of adds value to all your other stuff because you can pack it away with it and take it on your adventure anyway guys hope you enjoyed my review see you soon